we're back with the guys at fire station number three in Oakland, California. They often respond to overturned tanker truck incidents and they're sharing their custom stinger trailer set up with us. Let's join Dan and Mike, two of the leads on Oakland's fire station number three's big green hazmat team. So this is our Stinger trailer. This is a Stinger. And uh, this is uh, a big straw for sucking out uh, gasoline out of gasoline tank trucks. Uh, and so we carry two different sizes on top of this rig here. All right. And then all the tools on the inside are what we'll need to perform a Stinger Ops. Okay. Uh, we have a, a pretty uh, extensive SOP that we can give you guys. Uh, this is for our, of course, our MC306, our DOT406. We have uh, all eight personnel uh, that are divided up into teams of two to do apply foam, to uh, set up the uh, air monitoring of the... Uh, the fuel to order in the recovery trucks and the heavy wreckers to do cribbling, cribbing and stabilization and then grounding and bonding on the on the rig and then actually uh, uh, perimeter ignition sources control and leak control and then we'll set up and actually uh, get the crew in there to uh, drill the, a hole in the side of the tank truck drop in the stinger and uh, and pull out the fuel and so we actually have a uh, compressor in the back here. I don't know if you can come in if the lighting's good in here. Yep. The compressor in the very back that will actually give us air because we don't want any uh, ignition sources near. So this rig will be far away. We'll, we have long air hoses that we can extend out to the scene and it will run this, uh, this pump here. Okay, This pump is uh, uh, strong enough to to basically pump peanut butter out of a, uh, I might be exaggerating a little bit, but out of a rig. We have fuel hoses that will connect. This pump is a pneumatic, runs on air, and we can pump the, uh, the fuel uh, through the stinger into a recovery vehicle. We'll pump out the tank. For grounding and bonding, prior to uh, drilling the hole and pumping, we have a, uh, a stinger or a grounding bonding cart here. So this is quite a nice setup here. We have uh, two uh, reels of grounding cable. Uh, we have a, uh, a big jar of uh, salt so that we can wet a trench if we need to. Salt it, sodium chloride. And then uh, we can actually lay a grounding rod in that uh, in that trench that we built. Otherwise, we have a, a post hole driver for driving grounding rods into the ground. Uh, we have the ability to dig that trench with our uh, with our uh, hoe here, a little mini sledge. Our grounding rods we have a couple of different sizes. Uh, they're they're actually come already with the. Uh, the grounding cable attached. So this is one of them that we would drive into the ground. This guy here. We have standalone grounding rods as well uh, that we can attach cables to. Okay. Uh, Mike has our Merlin unit, which we also stole in here. Uh, we've repurposed it to just be a foam applicator uh, so that we can apply foam around the um, the actual overturned tanker and on top of it if we have to on the sides not where we're going to be accessing it uh, but this will we'll use for the fuel spills we have other methods uh, of applying foam but we'll just use our AFFF in here or uh, or a uh, fluorine free foam that we have now this is a cart that we built to uh, store our hose you ready yep I'll just show it to you here real quick. 
uh, that should stay. Still our hose, we'll still our, uh, the rest of our devices that are required for our stinger, our sight glass. All of our other attachments for a stinger. This is uh, our vapor recovery. Just like when you uh, when you pump your gas at the gas station, we have to do vapor recovery as well over the uh, over the stinger. Okay. So we have all of our adapters. A couple of their adapters with sight glasses in them. Uh, we have our uh, our plug and rug bag. A lot of this is custom that we made ourselves. And so if you're interested in it, uh, give us a call. We'll show you how we did it. When you climb up on top of the, uh, the actual tank truck, it's gonna be slippery. So we have this non-slip rug that will lay over the tanker. And so we can work where we're gonna, that's just, this is where we're gonna drill our hole. After we drill our hole, and we actually uh, sting the fuel out. Then we have to plug them, and there could be, a, so we have the plugs that will fit the size of the hole that we drill. Grounding and bonding is real important, that you ground and bond everything. So we actually have to bond the uh, stinger as well. And so we have shorter cables that will uh, enable us to do that. When you're up on top of the tanker, you're using short cables like this on your actual stinger. The one thing we need to uh, purchase is a, uh, a new uh, ohm meter from Hazmat Resources. Uh, and uh, we don't have that nice piece of equipment yet. So that's the one thing that's missing from this rig. We use an old ohm meter. Uh, so this is our, uh, our pneumatic air powered uh, drill so we have our hole saws ready to go and our drill okay. so this will hook up to our air so we can drill our hole we have a, a, a small Hudson sprayer to keep it cool with water at the drill site so we'll pass that up but it's all ready to go non sparking tools if you need them beryllium So a very specialized trailer, and uh, in the Bay Area there have been a lot of overturned uh, uh, tank cars, and this is the this is the, these are the tools that you need. Not just a stinger, you need a compressor, a pump, a um, a drill cart, a um, a grounding cart, all that to to do it to make this a safe operation. It's uh, something that requires a little bit of practice and cooperation with the, uh, the fuel companies and the recovery companies and the large tow companies too as well. So big operation and, and uh, it's not really a, a team typing skill, but if you're in a, a major uh, urban uh, area with a lot of fuel transport, your hazmat team is gonna have to be set up for this. You're not always gonna be able to wait for a refinery's uh, uh, tools to come out and do this for you. Okay. One of the most difficult things is getting a recovery vehicle there. We recently went on a multi-agency um, bust. It was between Monterey and all the way up here in Oakland. It was a fuel um, theft ring that was stealing diesel straight from the ground. So they had a truck, utility truck, set up to um, suction the fuel right out of the ground. And they had over 3,000 gallons of fuel in ICB totes and the totes were located inside of a conics box and they were just stored in there and then they had the truck that was loaded with another 1700 gallons of fuel and the multi-agency um, law enforcement group they found it and they thought it was a hazard um, they felt it was underneath the freeway it was located underneath 880 um, right downtown oakland and they thought it was a hazard they, they wanted it removed trying to find an agency that wanted to take on that responsibility for the, for that amount of fuel and to transport it was difficult uh, the state didn't want it the city doesn't want it um, they only wanted the trucks and the equipment for evidence they didn't want the fuel the fuel can't be resold it's no good to anybody so who do you call that's the most difficult thing you're gonna find when you when you come into across um, some sort of fuel spill is the responsible responsible party 
you can't always rely on uh, a large fuel company because a lot of these uh, transporters have one or two trucks and uh, they don't have a big company backing them and they roll their truck you know who's left holding the bag uh, you, you got to be able to to do this operation fairly quickly before all the fuel you know gets in the ground gets into your water table and all that so uh, a stinger operation is a, is a real important part of our team uh, it's a skill that we uh, practice during our refreshers and we're ready to go with it Want to learn more? Stay tuned as we recently attended a gasoline tank cargo emergency response course while visiting the Hazardous Materials Training Symposium in Daytona Beach, Florida. Like and subscribe so we can continue to help hazmat teams and first responders every day. See you next time on scene with Hazmat Roadshow TV.